Texas. We're joined now by Cole from the East Texas Bourbon Society. You know, it's five o'clock somewhere, that's right? right? That's all. That's always the truth. And you guys have a cool event coming on this week. So, so if you guys, tomorrow, yeah. yeah. Tomorrow night, we're flying in Jim Murray. He is the number one whiskey critic in the world, and he will be right down the road in Longview um, tasting 10, uh, well, actually 11 as of this morning. We got a new distillery that uh, slid in their entry. Uh, one of our requirements, it's got to be available to the public, and so these guys actually released Tawakawa just released yesterday, so they, they got the deadline by one day to make it make it into the contest. He said this is called the Texas Bourbon Shootout, so are majority of these made in Texas? They are all grain to glass in Texas distilleries. Um, so they're doing all this distilling, bottling, aging right here in Texas, and we're gonna crown the best bourbon in Texas tomorrow night, and they're gonna win a full page ad in Texas Monthly to crown them oh, the wow. champion. Um, have you guys had this event before? We have not. Oh. So Saturday night we've got the sixth annual Bourbon and Bow Ties, which is also a fundraiser for our World of Wonders Children's Hands-On Discovery Center. And so this is our spinoff event uh, geared towards the distilleries and kind of trying to promote Texas bourbon. I know I'm not really a dark liquor person, so I'll let you kind of, you know, what are some, have you yeah, tried any of these? Absolutely. So we have had the, uh, the luxury of trying all these, you know, and so we've got some of our front runners we think that uh, may have a pretty good shot of winning. But, you know, our, our local favorite here is Jimmy's 100. Um, Jimmy's at Keeper Saw Distillery. Oh, right, really? right down the road. Absolutely. So there are our, our hometown uh, bourbon here that we're wanting to enter. There's a lot of great bourbons here. And so Jim Murray, who puts out the Whiskey Bible every year. The Whiskey uh, Bible. I love yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. So this is the go-to. You can kind of see he rates all of the top whiskeys, bourbons, rye, scotches in the world. Um, he's only had a few of these. So we're interested to see with the other uh, seven or eight that he hasn't had a chance to try. What do you think? He's the guy to impress. He sure is. Absolutely. So should this just be an event for the guys or bring the girlfriends to you? Or? Men and women both. Oh. So we actually have a, a sweetheart ticket. It'll be $300. And uh, so you can bring your wives, bring your girlfriends, and join us. And if you want to go buy tickets, it's www.texasbourbonshootout.com. And I tell you what we're going to do. We're actually going to give away two tickets uh, to the first two people that buy a ticket right after this episode. Westbrook Pot Shot Services is donating those for us. Uh, so buy your tickets now, and you'll have some tickets to bring some friends. Hey, awesome. And one more time, that website, and you said it's already pretty popular event. That, that's correct. So we're almost sold out. So you got to buy your tickets today, hopefully. Uh, and it's www.texasbourbonshootout.com. Uh, Bourbon and Bowties, our Saturday night event, sold out in two weeks. And so we expect this one to be the same way. And this is tomorrow location time one more time? Yeah, so it's going to be tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at the Infinity Event Center in Longview at the Holiday Inn. All right, Cole, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having us. We appreciate Coming it. up after.